I've let this go on long enough. All right, so just before we go through this door, this is going to be the greenhouse. Now, we've seen video messages from Wyatt stating there's something in the soil. He's talking about infections. He's gone around and done what he's done. What we need to know is why and where's Jack. Not to mention, we need to know what else happened at Fort Solace. So hopefully we get some answers. Here we go. Okay, so is this just straight up all the plants that Helen was working on? Or is there some specimens that are attached to Compound 26 or something? All right, let's just investigate, I guess. I can't believe these are real. Yeah, that must be wild to see while you're on Mars too, right? Stuff like this. You got someone that can operate like a, a Mark Watney, though. Grow all kinds of things. What we got here? What's this? See, because Wyatt said about the soil too, so does that mean all of this stuff is how people were maybe getting sick or something? I don't know. I, there's so many different scenarios I'm playing over in my head right now as to what could be going on. I still don't think it's as straightforward as... Wyatt's just completely lost it and he's trying to stop this infection that he keeps talking about because his job is to care for people. I don't know. I'm a little bit like, mm, it's a bit too simple there. Oh, here we go. Nothing on them. I mean, they got a little bit of like pink coloration on them, but I don't necessarily think that's something wrong. What were you trying to show me, Wyatt? You're waiting behind the door with that axe. And why would we not print one of our own if it's already ready to go, you know? Unless we don't have the stuff to make it. <laughs> I mean, that makes sense. Okay, there's the bees. We did see something that was mentioned about the bees escaping and causing a little bit of chaos. Pretty, pretty early on. That's just the autonomous stuff. Just taking care of all the, uh, all the things on the shelves. Here we go. Data link. I am very, very tense right now, guys. I'm very aware that he could be anywhere in this room hiding or just through the door. Progress. It's a funny thing, really. You are so preoccupied with whether you could... You never stop to think... Whether you should. If you should. Yep, there it is. It's one of our biggest problems. We never ever do that. We're in such a race to do something no one else has done before. Those major breakthroughs. We never really stop and think, wait, is this a good idea? <laughs> it's like it takes a second seat to anything else. That's absolutely terrifying though. Look at that. Look at how many bees are in there. All the different hives as well. Amazing. Even all the way up here. Come on, Jess. Stop staring at bees. Time to go. I have a feeling the bees may play a bigger part in this than we first thought. Okay, we can't go through there. Be a good idea to probably lock White in there and just give him some time to think about what he's done, you know? Doesn't sound like a bad idea. fact that I haven't heard or seen him yet. He's not hiding up the stairs. Still no sign of Jack either. It's going to be okay. Focus and calm. Just like they taught me. Focused mind. Alright. Let's go. Hope you're right, Jess. I hope everything is going to be okay. <laughs> Alright, let's see what else we can find. Clearly there's something going on that shouldn't have happened. That's all I need. Agro bees. Subject contamination. Compound 19 became contaminated due to another bee-related escape. The batch now needs to be created once more. Interestingly, the bees that came into contact remain fine and have been returned to their apiary. Helen Dunpart. So that was compound 19. So did they keep refining whatever they were doing to get to compound 26 and then it became much more of a contaminant? There's nothing on the back or anything, right? Yeah, no. 
no, okay. So yeah, Helen Helen was aware of all this. I wonder if this is what Wyatt was talking about when he said there's another one, meaning people are being stung by these bees. Is that how the infection's spreading? You guys know how my, my mind races with like certain things like this. I'm just trying to keep it nice and slow. <laughs> Collect the evidence. What have they created? That does not sound legal. Compound 23. The compound can sustain growth while maintaining a healthy level of nutrients. The food created here has been tested to reveal more advanced traces of the compound, so the soil is not acting as the desired catalyst. The formula needs to be revisited. So she's manipulating something now to get the results that she wants. That's why uh, Jess just queued in there. What was she doing it for, though? Subject, bee behavior. Since coming into contact with the compound, we've continued to monitor the behavior of the bees. There seems to be little change other than a slight uptick in activity. Further monitoring is required. So it doesn't actually give what compound that is. I'm guessing that's compound 23. This is why they're digging so deep. Prospect too. Subject, overgrowth. Some sections of plants seem to overgrow and expire almost overnight. Here, the compound is clearly unbalanced and needs recalibrating to meet the needs of the soil catalyst from Planum. So is this what's happening to the plants then? It looks like they almost grew too fast. Terra Frontiers, a better tomorrow initiative is building the cutting edge of simulated biome technology, creating our home away from home right here on Mars. Oh, okay, so that's what they're doing. Okay, so it did make sense that they're making some kind of accelerant with obviously the bees to pollinate the uh, the plants so they can reproduce. But then what happened with the compounds? That's the question, right? So they're clearly doing this, or I guess Helen and the botanists and the experts were doing this so they could essentially have food, more life on Mars because it's so barren, they would have to do this. They would have to I don't know if cultivate is the right word, but they're using stuff like this in order to, I guess, act as an accelerant, but it's causing problems with the bees and it's not doing what it's intended. I think that's what's going on. I could be wrong though. I could be way off with that. Compound 22. So yeah, they did. They went through different compounds then before they got to the final one, which may have acted as a highly like infectious disease or something. And it's made Wyatt go insane. I hope it's not that simple. Oh, is this Helen's office then? Ooh, okay. Perfect. Okay, so I should have access to this drawer. Right, let's go in here first because she said she has access to something in the drawer and I know I kept the code as well from earlier on. So it was 0721. Let's try that then. 0721. If you're wondering where I got this from, by the way, it was mention of it earlier on in like a voice note or somewhere in Helen's office. Oh no, there we go. Compound 26. So something went wrong with compound 26. Let's find out what it is. I, I can't believe it. We did it, Mom. So she's referencing the plant that was in her office, the actual sample 26, or sample C26 that we saw very early on when we was in there. We saw this one, right? Yeah, I think that was just Wyatt slowly losing his mind. What we got here? Is that another node? What else we got? Here's where we're going to get our answers, though. I hate looking at these. It should write in the field sack. Maybe it's better if she doesn't know. Brazil 2078. All right. Let's see what was going on. Okay, subject Fort Solace report. Dear Helen, thank you for the update. That is terrific news. Congratulations to your team. This does mean 
we can now move to phase two. I'll inform the team, have fun celebrating. I'll dispatch a team to collect a sample tomorrow, which I'm guessing is the thing in the top drawer there. Jack Stevenson, Terror Research and Development. Subject, Wyatt Taylor. Dear Helen, your site manager and security have been informed of his suspension. It wasn't easy to push through, but we feel with his removal and your report, it's in all interest to make sure your work isn't interrupted. So that's referencing where she got Wyatt suspended. And that I don't know if that pushed him over the edge, but come tomorrow, he will no longer be on the site and my team will arrive to collect the sample. So maybe that's why Wyatt intervened. Subject, Compound 26. Helen, what we've created can't be shared. I spoke with Wyatt earlier who feels the same way. When we first started this journey, we wanted to make something that could change lives. Now I fear what lies in that vial is more than just lightning in a bottle. As I'm away for storm season, I had a chance to reflect on the harm it could potentially do. We still don't fully understand what we've made. It would be irresponsible to turn it over to Jack and his team. They have no intention of using it to create sustainable oxygen here or at other sites. You know it, I know it. Let's chat when I'm back next month. I hope you can see it from my side. Thorsten Schmidt. Subject, home time. I can't believe you've actually done it. Come home and celebrate. You don't need to be up there anymore. We miss you here. Please come home. So proud of you. Sarah Dunpart. Compiling a new compound this week has meant for a more concentrated measure. As the teams continue to provide us with samples from the site, we look to regulate the growth rate through controlled nutrients. Whilst time runs out for those back home, we are so close to sustaining life here. The work we're doing is... is bigger than all of us. While time runs out for those back home, is that just a general discussion that people are having, like, like we are right now, or is that something to do with more than what's going on on Earth in this time? We are beginning to see aggressive acceleration with Compound 26. It seems to be able to sustain environmental hazards as a result. This development has been fundamental in... Ma'am, Dr. Taylor is here again, requesting to come downstairs. For the last time, he doesn't have clearance. He shouldn't be here. Yes, ma'am. However, he says it's a question of ethics. Where is he? Boreal region, ma'am. Okay, so this is where it's going to get interesting then, because now you're seeing it from a different perspective, or at least I am. Wyatt is trying to stop whatever Helen is doing with this Compound 26. So he's not necessarily the bad guy, but maybe you went about it the wrong way, right? I think I'm right with that. Yeah, system's still, still not working properly. Oh, here we go. Is this where we see the interaction? So Wyatt's confronting her there. Clearly it's doing something to the people working on it and he's furious. was just looking around too for something that he would pick up. He's going to be standing behind me right now, isn't he? Nope. <laughs> okay, good. Ooh. What was that? I don't know if that was ambient. Oh, what is this? Where could he be? Oh, I thought the, I thought they were egg sacs. It's not. It's just something to slowly uh, feed the soil, I guess. The Frontier Project. That was shut down years ago. I don't think so, Jess. All right, what we got? 
Compound 22. Subject compound composition. Creating compounds is becoming increasingly harder due to the lower quantities of planum. I think I'm saying that right. It's planum or planum. I'm going to say planum. Soil we are receiving. This sample is of a much smaller scale and therefore hard to determine its effects. Okay. So is this just process of elimination now? What is in there? Is that bubbles or is that actually something in there? The success. So she did it. Is he after this? For himself? Compound 24. After the success of Compound 23, we now look to create a more streamlined and stable compound in order to share our research with other Terra facilities. All right, let's keep it going then. I was trying to have a look around to see if it would give us any sign as to what compound they were using back there. Out of the depths and into the jungle, it seems. Where even am I? He can't be anywhere else. This is the greenhouse. Yeah, like I was saying back there, this must be so weird. Eventually, when humans do get to Mars... I would love to know, like, the feeling of being inside a massive dome like this. Knowing that you can't really breathe the air outside either. But then having things like greenery inside too, it must be such a trip. I mean, I know there's things that we have now that can kind of simulate that, but... To have the real thing, it must be... It must be so weird. So many different entrances here as well. I'm very vulnerable. <laughs> a Better Tomorrow, Frontier Projects. A Better Tomorrow is a Frontier Projects initiative. With only the best in mind for the future of humanity. Okay, so is that why they're here then? This is bad news. Anytime I've seen that logo, trouble follows. Oh, is that the weapon that he used? What happened here? That's what he picked up off the table. Right, I'm not going in there yet. Actually, you know what? Is it open? Door locked. No. Alright, we've got to take the elevator then. I am looking around too, just in case there's anything that we've missed in terms of like finding out if there's any extra info on the compounds that it was using. I'm guessing compound 23 was the first breakthrough. And then they just continued to try and streamline everything. And eventually something happened when they got to compound 26. Right? <laughs> I think so. This cool old elevator, though. Come on, Jess. All this? This is the reason they are here. No wonder such an old base is still operational. So she's making it sound like all of this shouldn't be here, right? Or at least the, uh, the Frontiers initiative. Everywhere she saw that logo, problems followed. Just leaves you with more questions than answers, right? You hear, Wyatt? You psychopath! Alright, we got a door over there. Can we climb that? I don't think so. Can't do anything with the soil back here either. Oh no, what's this? <laughs> Oh, we're just going to have a look out on everything. All this. Such a beautiful sight. Even up here. It really is kind of cool what we can achieve. Oh, no. Oh, no. Like, when you really think about it, we could do something like this. It's not that far-fetched, like I was saying at the beginning. I mean, there would always be problems. There's always issues that would that would crop up. But, I mean, look at this. We can do stuff like this. That's pretty incredible. I mean, not what Wyatt's doing and what's happened here. Because <laughs> that's terrible and terrifying. But, like, in terms of what we can actually achieve now, it is. It, it's, it's cool. Like, if you take a step back, think about stuff that we have done, the things we've built and can build in the future. We're just going to go back down. It's going to be all right. It's going to be okay. I'm guessing we're trying to get to that little tent area where it looks like something was going on. Terrifying horror orange lights. It's never a good sign. <laughs> a dimly lit area. Nothing behind me, right? Yeah, 
just samples everywhere. We got water tank. Oh. What do you see, Jess? No! Oh no, that's so quick! <laughs> Those QTs are so incredibly quick. Wait, what? There's no way. Fuck this. Fuck staying calm. There's no way. Somebody doesn't just disappear like that. Has that got something to do with our hand shaking? Are we sick? Are we seeing things? We go around there. So many questions. All right, let's just keep it moving then. Yeah, the the things that popped up on screen, either I just wasn't looking on the part of the screen where they were popping up, or they were just, like, ridiculously quick. This is really cool, though. Look at that. Oh, who's that? Oh, it's Jack. Okay, nice. We'll get you out of here, Jack. Jack, 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 wake up, Jack. Are you okay? Do you have any idea what I have done? What this has taken from me? Look, I read Helen's work. You, you can report this. Helen's work? You read Helen's work? What about my work? And I did report this to everybody. You know what they did? They suspended me. Me, of all people. They came for me. At my facility, and they took everything. We can walk out of here, tell everyone what we know. These were my colleagues. They were my friends. Then my family. Do you know what it feels like? To realize you're never going home again. We can. We all could. That's sweet. But your hand's shaking? Yeah. That's the first sign. And after that, it's not good. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, it's gotta be this way, because you really look like good people. <laughs> and trust me, I... I take no joy in any of this. No! No! Oh, fire death! Come on! There we go, we got it that time! Come on! Go punch him! Oh no, no, no! Oh no, Jess, that's on me! Oh no! Oh no! I'm sorry. Get up, Jess! Not like this! Get out of there, Jack! Come on! Oh, he's getting back up. 100% he's getting back up. Come on. Come on, just make it to the door. Can we get it to the med bay? Staple things up or something? I don't know. <laughs> we can't ask for help. We gotta do this on our own. I'm going to try my best to save the both of them, but something's telling me that something heartbreaking is about to happen. Come on, just get to the airlock. Come on. Don't you do it, Wyatt. Wait here. 
There's only two helmets, too. I told you Shuri wasn't dead. No! No! Come on, Jack. Come on. Keep going. Don't give up. I gotta be honest, guys. That one hurt. That one really, really hurt. I really didn't expect that. I thought we were just maybe gonna get into the airlock before Wyatt came back. Come on, Jack. Keep going. Come on. Get to the other side. There was another helmet in there, too. I was gonna say there's enough helmets for just me and Jess if we can get out of there quick, but I'm guessing he's gonna put one on, too. Where are we trying to get to there? What's this? Oh, the hangar? This is where Helen came from, though. This was where basically everything started that we saw on the CCTV. Oh, yes. Just get me in one of those. I'll do the rest. <laughs> oh, yes, please. wondered what was happening then <laughs> everything just stopped just like oh no what's happened i know this is hard being a martyr always is but your partner she understood that and he's got the helmet on too you got a chance to do the right thing here jack how will they remember us as the ones who saved them from certain death, or the ones who allowed it to happen. They'll name schools after us, erect statues in our honor. We will become immortalized. Stay on your tiptoes, Jack. And your friend. Her? Shit, man. He's gonna be right there. I can't even remember her name. There we go. Take him down, Jack. Oh, there's been a bait back. What? Come on, Jack, get up. No! Not like this, Jack. Get up. I don't like this, guys. This is way too tense. I'm just trying to concentrate on what's happening. Oh, man. I can't imagine what that feels like. We do what we must for those 
sweetheart. Central, they arrived. Down. I'm not. I'm, I'm not. Target neutralized. Central, this is Alpha T. Situation contained. Identify yourself. Sir, are you able to respond? Receive the call from Major Iraq. Born in the ocean of nuclear water, I will dry your tears, I will wash your fears. Chris, um, I sent you a package. Do not open it, okay? Do not open it. Just take it to Tom. Don't tell anyone, but he'll know what to do. There's, um, there's something I gotta do up here, but, um, tuck the girls in for me and, um, Give him a kiss. I love you, Chrissy. All right, here we go, here we go. Hit him, Jess. There you go. Get up, Wyatt. We got it. Oh, so it happens either way? No! I'm sorry. I needed to know. I needed to know if there was anything else that I could have done for Jess in this moment. I don't know if leading up to this point has an influence on that bit there, but I doubt it because, I mean, we got everything there. A couple of the quick time events before that maybe has an influence to this point, but I'm pretty sure this is how it's going to end up. That's so heartbreaking. Is it going to end up the same way, though? Because I don't know if you guys remember that. Jess mentioned just as the airlock closes, well, when she closes it, she says, I told you chivalry's not dead. And I kept saying before the brother and sister relationship these two have. And that's why it was so heartbreaking when she does this now. I, I want to know. Bring her in there, Jack. I told you Shory wasn't dead. Oh man, that's so brutal. Oh no, you do this to me, Jack. Nope, we're not touching it. Point the controller down. My hands are raised. I'm not going to attack Wyatt. I Let's leave it. Her name. And he still goes out anyway? Wait, what? I'm so sorry, Jack. <laughs> I'm so sorry. This is horrible. does not get easier on a second time of viewing it. Oh, it really doesn't get easier. Yep, don't press anything. Oh, okay. Maybe we should have pressed it. Oh, I hate that. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, you still stuck him anyway. Oh, no. 
I hate this. Why is he such a beast? Look at him. Is it going to end the same way? We must. For those we love. And it does. I never realized that on the first viewing, but the security guard there says we received a call from Engineer Appleton, who was, of course, Jess. So she did save him in the end. All right, then, guys. So that brings an end to Fort Solace. I've got to be honest. I'm a little bit upset that we didn't manage to save Jess at the end there. Although I do know that there are multiple endings. So I didn't show everything because I want you guys to take a look at this too. And if you do play this... Let me know in the comments if you did something drastically different to get a different ending, possibly where Jess and Jack survived. I don't know if that's possible, but I would love to know. I know we don't always play these story-driven games on the channel, but when we do, I really do enjoy them, and I hope you guys do too. So if you want to see more stuff like this, drop a like on the video, subscribe to keep up to date with everything, and I'll see you all in the next one.